I find it? Will I understand it? Will I learn it? Damn sights. Wish they'd never written it down. Gaul. Gaul, how do you make robots? Hallmeyer, Fabry, Darman, why do you keep so much in your heads? You could at least have left a few traces of Rossum's secrets about. It's a waste of time. These books can't say anything now. They're as dumb as everything else is. They're dead. They died along with all the people. Just stop looking. It's got dark again. Wish I could sleep. To sleep. To dream. And see some people. How come there are stars still there? What's the good of stars if there are no people? Oh, God. Why haven't they all gone out? Oh, cool my brow, ancient knight. Cool my brow. As divine and beautiful as you always used to be, why are you still here? There are no more lovers, no more dreams. You, you watch over us, but sleep without dreams is death. You, you sanctify us, but there are no prayers. Mother, you, you don't bless us with your beating heart. There is no love. Helena. 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 Nothing, as always. It's a waste of time. What, what am I supposed to do with this? Nothing works! Can, can't they see? I just... I can't... Those machines! Always those machines! Stop them, robots! <laughs> you think you can force them to produce life? <laughs> I can't take any more of this! <laughs> no. No, you've got to keep looking. You've got to stay alive. Well, if only I wasn't so old. Am I getting old too soon? My poor face. <laughs> oh, the face of the last man on Earth. Oh, let me see. Let me see. It's been so long since I've seen a human face. <laughs> a human smile, on is that supposed to be? A smile. <laughs> Those yellow, shattering teeth. Those twitching eyes. An old man's tears. I'll stop this. You can't even keep your tears in. You, you should be ashamed of yourself. And what about those soft blue lips and that nonsense you're talking? <laughs> Look at you shaking, dirty chin. <laughs> and this is the last man on earth. <laughs> I don't want to see anyone anymore. No, no, just, just keep looking. <laughs> Come to life, damn you! <laughs> oh. oh, will I never find it? Never understand. Never learn. Come in. What is it? The Central Committee of Robots wishes to know when you will receive them, sir. 
I don't want to receive any robots. Robot Dahman has arrived from the Hev, sir. So let him wait. How many times have I told you you should go out and look for more people? Find me some people. Go find me some men and some women. Go. They say that they seek everywhere, sir. They send expeditions and ships everywhere. So what? There is not a human anywhere, sir. Not one. Not even a single one. Send in the committee. Not even one. Didn't you even let one person live? Oh, oh, come in then, robots, come in. Bother me some more, come and tell me I should find out the factory secret yet again. Oh, oh, you like people now, don't you? You want them now, now that they can be of some help to you to help you. Darn it. Fabry, Helena, you, you can see that I'm doing everything I can. Even if there are no people left, at least there could be some robots, some, some shadow left behind by the human race. At least his achievements, at least something that looks like him. Oh, chemistry is madness. What do you want, robots? The machines are not working, sir. We're not able to make more robots. Call in some people. There are no people. It's only people that can procreate life. Don't keep wasting my time. Have pity on us, sir. We are afraid. We repair everything as well as we can. We have increased working hours. We no longer have room to store all of the things we have made. Who did you make these things for? For the next generation. Only robots are we not able to make. The machine produces nothing but bloody meat. The skin does not adhere to the flesh, and the flesh does not adhere to the bone. The formless lumps come out from the machines. People knew the secret of life. Tell us their secret. If you do not tell us, we will die out. If you do not tell us, you will die. It will be our duty to kill you. Kill me, then. Oh, come on. Kill me as well. You have been ordered to give us the secret order. to Queen. There's somebody giving me orders. The robot government. And just who in the hell is that? I am Dormin. You? What are you doing here? Get out. Uh, the government of the robots of the world wishes to negotiate with you, so that we you need to stay robot. <laughs> the Central Committee of Robots orders you to hand over Rossum's formula. <laughs> Tell us your price. We will pay you anything. Tell us how to maintain life. I told you. I've told you time and time again that you need to find some people. It's only people that can procreate, renew life, put things back to how they used to be. Robots, for God's sakes, I, I beg of you, go out and look for them. We have looked everywhere. There are no people. Oh, and why is that? That's right, you. You destroyed them all. We wanted to be like people. We wanted to become people. We wanted to live. We are more capable. We have learned everything. We can do everything. You gave us weapons. We had to become the masters. We have seen the mistakes made by people, sir. To be like people is necessary to kill and to dominate. I'll read the history books. Read the books written by people. To be like people, it is necessary to dominate and to kill. Domin, th there's nothing less like humankind than their image. 
unless you make it possible for us to procreate, we will die out. Oh, just get out. You're just things and you want to multiply. <laughs> if you want to live, you'll have to breed just like animals. People did not make us able to breed. Teach us how to make robots. We will make ourselves by machine. We will erect a thousand machines. New life will pour from our machines. Nothing but life, nothing but robots. Millions of robots. Robots aren't life. Robots are machines. We used to be machines, sir. But by means of pain and horror, we have become... Become what? We have obtained a soul. There is something within us that struggles. There are moments when something enters into us. We receive thoughts which are not our own. Listen, please, listen. People are our fathers. This voice that calls, saying you wish to live, this voice that laments, this voice that thinks, this voice that speaks of eternity, this is their voice. We are their children. Let us inherit the thing that people left to us. They didn't leave you anything. Tell us the secret of life. It's been lost. You knew it. I didn't. It was written down. It's been lost. It was burned. <laughs> I'm the last human being, robots, and I don't know what the others knew. You, you killed them all. We allowed you to live. Live? <laughs> That's how cruel you are. You, you allowed me to live. <laughs> I loved people. I, I never loved robots like you. Do you see these eyes? They, they never stop crying. One eye cries for the humanity, and the other eye cries for robots. <laughs> so do experiments. Search out the formula of life. There's nothing to search for. You'll, you'll never get the formula for life from a test tube. Do experiments on living robots. Discover how they work. Living bodies. You, you expect me to kill them? I, I've never. Uh, oh, just be quiet, robots. I've already told you. I, I'm too old for this. Look at how my hands shake. I, I, I couldn't hold a scalpel. L look at the tears in my eyes. I, I couldn't even watch my own hands as they move. But no, 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 I couldn't do it. Life will die out. Stop it. Stop this madness, for God's sake. Life probably came to us humans from another world anyway, stretched out to us with arms full of it. Oh, 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 there was so much will to live. They might still come back one day. They're so close to us. Maybe they're surrounding us or something. Maybe they want to dig down to us as if we were stuck in a mine. And, and don't I keep hearing the voices of people I loved? Take a living body. Oh, please, I, I have pity on me, robot. Don't keep insisting. Can't you see that I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore? Use a living body. <laughs> that is still what you want. Okay, uh, come on, let's get you to dissection. <laughs> come on, come on quick. What's this you're drawing back? You're not afraid of dying, are you? Me, uh, uh, why must it be me? Don't you want to then? Mm. <clears throat> I will go. Uh, take his clothes off him. Uh, put him on the table uh, quickly and, and hold on to him very tight. Oh, God, give me strength. 
Oh God, don't let this all be for nothing. Ready? All right, I'm coming. Uh, for God's sakes. Uh, which one should I take? Which, which of these should I try? We can begin. Yes, yes, we, we, we can begin. Well, we can finish. Oh God. Give me strength. Hold him down. Cuts. Cuts. Do you see this knife? Do you really want me to cut you open? You, you don't really, do you? Begin. Hold him down. Fighter. Fighter. Oh, I can't do it. God, God, quickly! Primus, Primus, what is happening here? Who is screaming? Mr. Alquist, he's dissecting Darlin. I'll come and see her. Come quickly. No, no, that's horrible. God! Oh, Primus, Primus, come away from there. I, I cannot bear to hear it. Oh, Primus, oh, I feel ill. Now you've gone quite white. I, I feel faint. Why has it gone quiet now? I can't do it! I can't do it! Oh God, it was horrifying! I'm sorry, he is still alive! Good God! Come away quickly! I don't want to hear him! Robots can endure more than you can. Who's in here? Get out! I, I don't want to be alone! What's your name? Primus. A Primus. Don't let anyone in here. I want to sleep. Do you hear me? You girl, go, go and get clean up the dissection room. Uh, what's this? Uh, quick, water. The cleanest water you can find. Oh, blood. Oh, oh. Oh, how could these hands, the hands that, that love good work, how could you do a thing like that? My own hands, my own hands. Oh. Oh, oh God, who is this? Private. Uh, take this away. Get it out of my sight. Uh, bloody claws. Uh, I wish you'd just fly away from me. Go. Get away from me. You've killed. <laughs> I'm alive. What do you want in here? What do you want? It is, it is, it is better to be alive. Take him out. Take him away quickly. I find my life. It is better. Life. Oh. <coughs> what do you want, girl? Oh. It's you, put, pour out some water. Uh, 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 cleansing, uh, cooling water. A uh, 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 cool stream, oh, you do me good. Oh, 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 my own hands, my own hands. Oh, will I hate you for the rest of my life now? Keep on pouring more, more, more water. Keep on pouring. Uh, what, what's your name? Helena. Helena? Why, why Helena? Who gave you that name? Uh, Mrs. Dorman. Let me look at you, Helena. Uh, Helena, you called. I won't be calling you that. Get out. Take the water with you. All for nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> Once again, you haven't found out a thing. 
Are you always going to be groping around in the dark? <laughs> Do you really think you can learn the secrets of nature? Oh, God. <laughs> How that body kept shaking. getting light. <laughs> Another new day and you haven't progressed an inch. Oh, that's enough now. Don't try any further. Just stop looking. It's all a waste of time. All a waste of time. <sighs> Why do mornings keep coming? What's the point of a new day in the graveyard of life? Go away, light. Don't come again. Oh, God. It's so quiet. So quiet. Why have you gone quiet? All those voices I used to love. Oh. Oh, if only I could sleep for a while. <laughs> God. Oh. How that body was shaking. Oh, God. It's the end of life. Primus, Primus, come here quickly. What do you want? Look at all these tubes he's got here. What does he do with them? Oh, experiments. Don't touch. <laughs> oh, look at this. What's in here? Uh, that's a microscope. Uh, let me see. Careful. <laughs> now I've spilt it. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> I can wipe it off. You spoiled the man's experiment. Oh, it doesn't matter, but it is your fault. You shouldn't have bumped into me. You shouldn't have called me over. You didn't have to come when I called to you, did you? Oh, Primus, look at this. What's it got written down here? Oh, you're not supposed to look at that, Helena. That's a secret. Well, what sort of secret? The secret of life. Oh, well, it's ever so interesting. All numbers. What does it mean? They're uh, mathematical formulas. I don't understand. Oh, Primus, come and look at this. What? The sun is rising. All right, I'm coming. Oh, Helena, that's the greatest thing in the world. Come here, then. All right, all right. Primus, leave this horrible secret of life alone. What do you want to know about secrets for, anyway? Come and look at this, quickly. Oh, what is it you want? Listen, the birds are singing. Primus, I wish I were a bird. What for? I don't know. I I just feel so strange. I don't know what it is. I, I feel sort of lightheaded. I, I've lost my head and my body hurts and my heart hurts and everything hurts. And I won't, just, I won't tell you what's just happened to me. I promise. I think I'm going to have to die. Hmm. Don't you ever think it might be better dead? Um, maybe it's no more than like being asleep. While I was asleep last night, I talked with you again. In your sleep? In my sleep. We were talking in some strange foreign language or some new language. So now I can't remember a word of it. What was it about? I don't know. Nobody knows. I didn't understand it myself. But I still knew that I had never said anything more beautiful in my life. What it was or where it was, I don't know. But if I touched you, I could have died. Even the place was entirely different to anything anyone had ever seen in this world. But I found that place for you, Primus. 
Why are you so surprised at that? People used to live there, but now it's all overgrown. Somehow, no one ever goes there anymore. Somehow, only me. What is that? Nothing. Well, a house and a garden and two dogs. You should see the way that they lick my hands. And they're puppies, too. Oh, kindness. I don't think that there's anyone nicer anywhere. You just let them sit on your lap and you stroke them and soon you aren't thinking about anything. And soon you aren't worrying about anything all the time. And until the sun goes down and when you get up, it's as if you'd been working and working. Well, except I'm no good for doing work. Uh, everyone says that I'm no good for anything. I don't really know what I am. Helena, you're beautiful. What? Me? Don't be silly, Primus. Why would you say that? Because it's true, Anna. Oh, Primus, uh, then why do you still avoid me? Why do I have to spend all of my time running after you? And you still tell me that I'm beautiful. Uh, but you avoid me, Helena. <laughs> and look at how you've combed your hair. Let me see. Uh, Primus, nothing in the world makes me feel like you do. Let me make you beautiful. Helena, do you ever find that your heart suddenly starts beating hard? Oh, now, now, something's got to happen now. <laughs> Look at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, people? Who, who, who's come back? Who is that? Oh, what's ever likely to happen to us, Primus? People? You, 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 you are people? <laughs> You two are in love? People? Who, where have you come back from? Who are you? Robot Primus. What? You, you, girl, let me see. Who are, who are you? Robot Helena. Ro robot. T turn around. What, what are you embarrassed? Let me see you, Robot Helena. Sir, please, leave her alone. What's this? You, you want to protect her? Go outside, girl. We didn't know you were sleeping here, so I apologize for the intrusion, that really did. Robot Helen, when was she made? Two years ago. By Dr. Gall? Uh, yes, the same as me. Well, uh, Travis, I've, um, I've got some experiments to do on Gall's robots. All future progress depends upon it, you see. Uh, yes. Good. So, take that girl to dissection. I'm going to dissect her. You're going to dissect Helena. Well, of course, Helena. That's what I just said. Now, go and get everything ready. Well, go on, then. Or should I call in somebody else to get things ready? Sir, if you move another inch, I will. I, I, sir, I'll crush your skull. All right, crush my skull. And then what will the robots do? Please, sir, take me in her place. I, I was made just the same way as she was, from the same materials on the same day. Take my life, sir. Cut here, here. No, no. It's Helena I want to dissect. Take me instead of her. A cut into this chest of mine. I will not cry out. I will not protest. Take my life a hundred times. Take my life, please. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, st steady on there, lad. No need to go on so much. Uh, now, uh, why don't you want to live? I do not want to live without her, sir. Not without her. No. You cannot kill Helena. What difference does it make to you if you take my life instead? Hmm, I... I... I don't know. Uh, uh, listen, lad, uh, you think about it. It's hard to die, and you do know it's better to live, correct? Please, do not be afraid. Such as cut, I'm stronger than she is. <laughs> oh, Primus. It's been so long since I was young. <laughs> don't worry. Nothing is going to happen to Helena. I shall leave, sir. Wait. Um, come back in, girl. Let me look at you. 
so you are Helena. Oh, don't be frightened. Don't run away. Uh, do you remember Mrs. Dorman? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Helena, she had very lovely hair. <laughs> well, no, I guess you don't want to look at me. Uh, so, is dissection ready? Yes, sir. Good. You will be my assistant. We'll be dissecting Primus. Primus? Yes, it has to be him. You see, I, I did want, really, well, it was going to be you I was going to dissect, but uh, Primus offered himself in your place. Primus? Well, of course. What, what does it matter? Well, so, child, you are capable of crying. Tell me, what, what's so important about Primus? Don't make her suffer, sir. It's all right, Primus, it's all right. Now, what are all these tears for? Eh? It just means that Primus won't be here anymore. He goes to reclamation, and you'll have forgotten about him in a week's time. Go on now, and be glad you're alive. I will go. Where will you go? Dissection. You can dissect me. You? Oh, but you are beautiful, Helena. That would be such a shame. I am going in there. You cannot stop me. No, Primus, no. Let me go, Primus. Let me go in there, please. No, you cannot go in there, Helena. Please, just get away from here. You shouldn't Primus. be here at all. Primus, if you go in there, I will... I will jump out the window. Do you hear me? I will jump out the window. I won't let go of you. You're not going to kill anyone, old man. Why not? Because we... Oh, because we belong to each other. <laughs> And uh, you're both quite right. It's all right. Please, go now. Go where? Wherever you like. Helena, take him away. Go on your way, Adam. Go on your way, Eve. Blessed day. The blessed sixth day. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Lord, now let thy servant depart in peace. Your most worthless servant. Alquist, Rossum, Fabry, Gaul, great inventors, but uh, what was the greatness of your inventions compared to that girl, that boy, compared to that first couple that invented tears, courage, a smile, and love? Nature, life, will not disappear from you. Life begins anew. It begins naked and small and comes from love. It takes root in the desert and all that we have done and built, all our cities and factories, all our great art, all our thoughts and all our philosophies. All of this will not pass away. It's only we that have passed away. Our buildings and machines will fall to ruin. The systems and the names of the great will fall like leaves. But you, love, you flourish in the ruins. And sow the seeds of life in the wind. Oh, Lord. Now let thy servant depart in peace. For mine eyes have seen salvation through love. And life will not perish. <laughs>